Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. It is about, I don't know, 10, 11, somewhere in there. I'm just waking up, so excuse my appearance, but I woke up and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and jump behind the camera real quick. I'm feeling pretty, pretty good this morning. I'm feeling better than I have been, so yeah, I'm back. I actually literally just got back last night. That's my son. I literally just got back last night from being out of town for the weekend. I went back to Vegas to um, just deal with a couple things back there. I went by myself, so I didn't have, you know, my husband or my son with me. So I'm definitely happy to be home, to be with them again. So, yeah. While I was in Vegas, I ate everything under the sun. Like, not even a lie, veganism went out the window. I just wanted to just enjoy being in the moment while I was there. So I just kind of winged it and just ate whatever I wanted now that that food is in my system and it has settled and all that I definitely feel it I'm definitely not feeling my best like how I feel like when I'm on my vegan thing so this video is gonna just kind of be kind of like a maybe what I eat in a day I'm gonna take you guys through my day and show you what I eat just, just kind of get myself back in the right direction really from being out of town and just kind of eating whatever I wanted so it is breakfast time, so let's head over to the kitchen and see what I can whip up. I have no idea what is in there because um, it was pretty late last night when I got in. So I'm going to see what I have in my refrigerator to make for breakfast. And yeah, I will see you guys somewhere along the way. So my refrigerator looks a little bit sad this morning, but <clears throat> what is this? <clears throat> Ooh, that's fruit. So I think I'm going to have some of this. Oh, that's a lot of fruit. Okay, I think I'll do like a bowl of fruit and then I think I want like a smoothie or something. That sounds good because I have I have kale, so maybe I'll do that and then I have some my freezer. Woo, the freezer stock is real, y'all. <clears throat> Let's see. I have mango. And I have what is this? Pineapple. So maybe we'll do some pineapple. And then I'll do some coconut water right here. Okay, I need to get all this out the fridge. So yeah, maybe I'll do all that. Afternoon, guys as you can see I am out and about Feel a little bit more human now that I've gotten myself together a little bit I'm stopping at the Walmart right now to grab a couple food items and actually probably sneak 
a few things for my husband. His birthday is actually on Friday, so I got to get some items for that. And yeah, let's go ahead and run in here. Let's Sorry, excuse me. Okay. Nice. Oh, like, ow. Oh. All right. Ugh. Silk Almond Original. So as you can see, I made it back home. I am out of the heat and I'm actually pretty hungry. So I'm gonna fix me some lunch. The smoothie and the fruit bowl actually held me over for a couple hours. So not bad for a super light breakfast. So now it's like breakfast number two for me, I guess, because I don't know. I don't consider the first meal a real breakfast. I don't, I don't know y'all. The point is I'm hungry and I'm going to make some food. I am actually going to make me a bowl of cold oats because it was really hot outside and I am just not really in the mood for anything hot right now. So I'm going to make a bowl of cold oats. I will show you guys that and just top it with like some fruit and berries or whatever and just kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and get into that footage. So this is what it looks like thus far. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a lot thicker than it was initially. I just let it sit here for like five minutes so it can soak up all of the milk. Not all of it, but majority of it. So it's a lot thicker. So now I'm going to just add my toppings and that will be my next meal. Alright guys, here it is. I literally just threw this together in five minutes. So I'm all about the quick and easy meals. As you guys can see, I topped it with some strawberries and bananas and a little bit of hemp seeds. And I sprinkled on a little bit of 
the brown sugar and just to sweeten it a little bit and yeah that's my next meal so super easy and I'll see you guys at dinner my little food stealer right here so yummy it's really good mm, it's good because you like your berries huh For those of you that wonder why it seems like I always make big portions of stuff when I plate it, it's because most of the time I have this little one. Monito, look, Papa. I have this little one that's always eating my food. So I put extra on there purposely so he can eat with me because he normally just eats whatever I eat. And yeah, but this is really good. Super, super good. If you're not a cold old person, you could totally heat this up, but... I'm enjoying the cold oats. All right, so it's dinner time, and as you guys can see, I'm just speeding through this clip. I had some potatoes in my pantry, so I digged out, digged out, I dug out all of the smaller sized ones, and I'm just chopping them in half because I'm going to make some potato wedges in my air fryer. And now it's time for seasoning. You guys know how I am with my seasonings. I'm a big seasoning person. So first I'm going to start with doing about a cap full and a half of grapeseed oil. This is normally the only oil that I cook with, to be completely honest. It's just better for you. So yeah, I did that. And then now I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning. So I'm grabbing my salt. I'm just doing a little sprinkle of salt, not too much. I'm trying to do better at not adding so much salt to everything. So I'm doing salt. And then next I'm going to add some lemon pepper. And then this is some paprika, just regular. I didn't have any smoked paprika, but if you do have smoked paprika, Lord, that is a tongue twister. If you have smoked paprika, use that one. And then that is some sriracha pepper that I bought, a little bit of cumin. And then lately I've been adding turmeric to everything just to reap a lot of the health benefits of it. So I added some of that on there as well. And last but not least, I'm adding quite a bit of Italian seasoning because this just makes potatoes taste so bomb. And then I'm just going to mix everything up like you see me doing here. Okay, so I just looked in the refrigerator and we have some leftover calabacitas that my mom-in-law made while I was out of town. So I'm going to eat some of this and we have some extra rice left over. So dinner is pretty much coming together on its own, which I love. So I'm going to heat that up with my potatoes once they get done and that's going to be dinner. Ooh, yes, come through potatoes. Good, good. Very yummy, very, very yummy.
Alright guys, here is dinner. I have my rice and the calabacitas on the, on the top of it. And then a little, I did a little bit of nutritional yeast and then I have my potatoes. Super simple, but it's going to be super good. And yeah, that's dinner guys. Alright, so it is dessert time because I have a major sweet tooth. I'm adding some frozen bananas to my food processor. I don't know about how many bananas, there's like maybe two, two and a half, something like that. All right, and then I'm adding one scoop like this of peanut butter. That's going to go right in there. I'm also going to add, this is actually some coconut cream. I'm going to add some of that in there as well, just to make it creamier. Um, nice big amount in there. And then I'm also going to do a splash of vanilla. <clears throat> Maybe about half a teaspoon or so. Going to add a tiny splash of water, just a couple splashes like that, just to help it kind of get nice and mixed up. Put my top on and we are going to post this baby. And some hemp seeds. Ooh! Mom? There you have it. Here's my banana and ice cream. Super simple. I love it so much. It tastes so good. It's not like the prettiest thing in the world or anything like that but it's gonna cure this sweet tooth I have and then as you guys can see I topped it with some granola and some hemp seeds and yeah that's my dessert for the night